Christ will come in glory at the end of time to judge the living and the dead. We've been living in what the church calls the end times ever since the, the ascension, since Jesus went back to heaven. Um, I don't know that these are any more the end times than they have been ever since then. The, the thing for a Christian is not to think, <gasps> second coming week on Tuesday at three o'clock in the afternoon, it's I'm ready to meet God face to face and give an account of myself and my life whenever that should happen. You've got as much more chance of being brought before God's judgment walking out of here and trying to cross Oxford Road as you have of being alive at the last judgment. I don't think there's a need for a judgment day to come at the end. But it could be that the judgment day will come for each one of us separately, maybe on the day we die. We have not been given the exact year or the century of the day of judgment. But Muslims feel that it is now very close. Before uh, any peace, total peace in the, uh, in the universe, there should be also, unfortunately, we go through it now, kind of uh, a chaos. Jesus did uh, uh, give us certain signs. So when you see these things come to pass, know that the end is near. And practically all the signs have been fulfilled now. Whichever way you look at it, we, we, we're probably on the way, uh, we're probably quite close to um, a messianic age. Another sign of uh, judgment is that children will be disobedient to their elders. Music will be prevalent. Everywhere you go, there will be music. The number of the female gender will be greater than the males. The knowledges or the sciences of religion will begin to diminish. And we can see that happening today. The things that are to happen is that we, we have what we call the Dajjal, or in the Christian world, I think he's known as the Antichrist, who is to come. We have uh, the sun, according to Islam, will one day rise from the west and set in the east. Another sign of, yes, a very important sign, is the coming back to this earth of Jesus. Because we believe Jesus, or whom we call Isa, salam, peace be upon him, he shall come down to the earth again. He has not, he was not crucified. He's still alive in the fourth firmament, or the fourth sky, and he will come down very close to the day of judgment. I mean, there are, there are two views of the judgment day. One is that it will come when things have reached a state of almost perfection. And the other is that it will come when things have got so bad they can only get absolutely better. For me, it's personal. I mean, it's not a, it's not a, a kind of end of days thing that's going to happen to the world. It's about my own personal life um, and being open and ready for that, for that change, for that kind of moment at which I can, I can experience the divine, I can be changed. Judgment in the sense that you have to face up to your sins, that evil has to be met uh, and seen and proved to be unreal. It is constantly with us. Yeah, this is a, an important difference between Reform and Orthodox in that Reform tend to stress a personal Messiah, a Messiah in the form of a person, whereas Reform speak in terms of a Messianic age when human beings will cooperate to bring a, a utopia closer by working together. We're encouraged to live each day as if it were our last. I totally believe in the coming of the Messiah. And at the moment, whilst he's not there, every good deed that we do, we believe, brings the Messiah nearer to us. There is actually a, a mythical Jewish idea that the Messiah could be any one of us. And we should all regard ourselves as the Messiah. Yeah, and to, to perfect that messianic potential that we have in ourselves. No, I do not expect the Messiah. But we collectively have adopted our very immoral pattern of lie and we bear the consequence, which is actually a kind of judgment on us. Do you agree on that? <laughs>